Hey, you fabulous freaks. It is Poe. Today's video is going to be about music. Uh, there has been a lot of demand. There has been a lot of demand for this. Part of us, we were kind of thinking about not doing any music reviews, uh, partially because music is a very, very personal thing and everybody experiences it so differently and everybody relates to music so differently. And you know, the last thing we wanted to do was make people feel bad because they didn't like the same music we did. Uh, or make people feel stupid for any reason because they like music that we don't and so forth and so on. So basically going into this guys, this is my opinion. This has nothing to do with you uh, except that I'm just sharing what I like with you guys and what I don't like. Uh, if you like the things that I don't like, cool. If you don't like the things I like, that's cool too. So today I'm going to do a little bit of a review of Faderhead's newest album, which I know it came out uh, a couple months ago. Uh, now, unfortunately, because we do not have permission from Faderhead himself, and because, you know, copyright laws and YouTube and all this stuff, we can't play any of the music in our video, but the good news is you can listen along if you want. Uh, we're going to link his mu his bleh, link his website down below where you can actually listen to the entire album for free. That's right, because Faderhead's a nice guy. Now, if you guys have never heard of Faderhead before, he is a definitely a industrial artist. Uh, he likes to break the mold a lot, and he brags about it in his music. Uh, he's... I think he's from Germany, is that right? Oh, I can't remember, but whatever. He likes to make a lot of very dancing music, a lot of stuff you can just stomp to and really enjoy the club. Uh, a lot of his music tends to really liven up a club dance floor, uh, at least from what I've seen. When it comes to music, I tend to go heart first into things, and that's that's just how I work. Um, and a lot of times music depends on how I relate to music and how I feel about music is often dependent on uh, what is going on in my life at the time, uh, how I'm feeling, um, if I'm having any battles with depression and so forth, uh, how my anxiety is doing, you know, it really just depends. Whenever it comes to how I listen to music, it depends on what's going on. And, uh, cause, you know, when you're in a good mood and you want to go do stuff, the first thing you want to listen to is real, you know, hype up music that gets you pumped and going. And then when you're feeling sad, or anxious, you know, when you're feeling sad and anxious, that's the last thing you will listen to. So when you're feeling sad or anything like that, normally you end up listening to something that you can relate to, something you can feel. And I have to admit, this time around, uh, I didn't find any songs on here I didn't like. This time around, Faderhead did pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, I've been going through a lot of emotional roller coaster here lately, uh, personally on a personal level because I do suffer from depression and anxiety and um, the shrink suspects there may be some PTSD in there but I don't know what from. Uh, if you want me to go over some of that stuff later you just you know ask and uh, I'll try to diverge as much as I'm comfortable with diverging but anyway so uh, at, here lately I've been going through a lot of emotional stuff so because with going back to school and work and you know the holidays and then I'm broke as shit. I'm more broke than I was before so that's that's a lot of fun. Now with that in mind while I've been listening to this album uh, there's a lot of stuff that I feel like I can relate to because in a lot of his music in this this album what it feels like to me what he's saying is that he's going through some emotional roller coasters and he's trying to find love and cure his loneliness and he's trying to go through, he's trying to do some self-healing on himself while, um, you know, he's, while expressing exhaustion and uh, pain from being alone and constantly going as long as he has. Uh, I mean, at least this is what comes out, what it says to me. 
Uh, maybe his meaning behind it is totally different. I didn't actually look into the real meaning of the songs because that kind of ruins some of the fun for me. I really enjoyed their song, All the Devils. Uh, basically, it kind of quotes my same, one of my favorite quotes from a long time. All the devils, hell is empty and all the devils are here. Uh, I can't remember where that quote originally came from. Uh, shit. I can't remember anymore. Um, LH6. LH6 uh, basically says to me, you know, I'm exhausted, I'm constantly going, but I'm nervous and anxious and I get to see somebody I haven't seen in a long time and I love them and, you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm tired of constantly going, but it's, you know, I'm anxious about seeing someone I haven't really gotten to spend time with and I'm in love with them and so forth and so on. Um, you know, and it just, I feel a lot with that one because we're here lately with constantly going, going, going. I don't have a lot of time to myself here lately with school and work and, you know, everything else. And I kind of wonder how 20 year old me got through school and work, <laughs> got through working two jobs and going to school at the same time. Um, I'm sitting here debating how past me did this, but I don't know. Another song that I really enjoyed is Nothing Changes. Um, basically this song, it points something out to me that, uh, that I think is very real, especially for the world we live in today, um, how nothing changes if nothing changes, you know? If you don't change anything, nothing's going to change. You, you can't expect change to happen when you do nothing. That's kinda, I mean, yeah, we can sit and bitch about politics and the world how it is today, but if we don't actually do anything about it, it doesn't change anything. It still sucks. <laughs> it's still gonna suck. Nothing is going to change unless we do something to change it. I mean, that's at least the way I got this song. I actually really did enjoy a lot of these songs from this album, and personally, I would like to give it like a, a nine out of 10. Uh, there were a couple of spots I wasn't too excited with, especially the intro to some of the songs, like LH6, I mean, I get it, but the intro to the song didn't do it for me, I don't know, and, you know, This Is Your World, I loved it, but yet the intro to it just kind of eh for me, but, you know, they, but it, you know, you can't expect every album to be perfect. This is probably one of the more emotional type albums, emotionally fueled albums while uh, some of his past stuff, like Electrosexual and, um, you know, like FHX, like his past albums, like FHX, were more dancey, stompy type music, which is fine. Uh, I loved those too. For the most part, Night Physics is a very, seems emotionally charged album, and I, I really love it. I actually love music that is emotionally charged because that's how I listen to music. I know a lot of people, they don't like they don't, they feel like musicians have sold out when they start doing more emotionally ballad style music or, you know, when they start doing songs that are more emotionally challenged or emo, uh, not challenged, but more emotionally charged, people tend to get grumpy about it and they're like, what, that's not the same old stuff that I'm used to listen to from this person. But for me, it feels refreshing because I enjoy the idea that even famous people are human. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, we'll leave the information down below, his website where you can listen to the album and buy it yourself. I think it's only like $10 or something like that for the whole thing to download. Uh, it says here you can download it off of Amazon, Bandcamp, and iTunes. And that guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I look forward to making some more videos for you and there we go. Bye.